Okay. So today we're going to do the YMCA submaximal bike test. We've already gotten all of Dr. McIntyre's resting values. So we got her age, her weight in pounds and kilograms, age predicted max heart rate, and 85% age predicted max heart rate. Then we got her resting blood pressure and her resting heart rate. So now we're going to set her up on the seat height. And there are a couple different steps that you need to take to set someone up on the seat height. The first one is to find the greater trochanter. And you can just estimate that. What I like to do is have them put their right leg out like this and internally and externally rotate the foot and you can feel for the greater trochanter, okay? Then you can estimate where the seat is. So that's the first step. So I'm just gonna lower this down one. Okay, next you're gonna have them get on the bike. And with your left leg, Dr. McIntyre, I want you to point your foot. With the foot pointed, you want a five degree angle in bend in the knee. And then I want you to point your heel. And then the leg should be straight with the heel pointed. And then the last thing is you want them to go ahead and start pedaling. And you wanna watch from behind and make sure their hips are not rocking, because that means the seat height is too high. And then the last thing is I always just ask, do you feel comfortable? Yes. Because some people like their seat height a little higher than you would normally have it, and you want them to feel comfortable regardless, okay? So now that she's comfortable, we're going to record the seat height. And she is at seat height 7. And so Jordan's going to write that down. So next time, if she comes to do the test or to exercise, she can go ahead and put that seat height on the bike, okay? So now that we have her seated on the bike, we're going to get our minute zero measurements, okay, our pre-exercise measurements. We always want to get that in exercise position. So we're going to go ahead and get her heart rate and blood pressure. Okay, so heart rate is 72 beats per minute. One eighteen over eighty two. Okay, just kind of rest your hand right there for just hold that for me. Okay, so now we're going to go through an explanation of the test. So, Dr. McIntyre, this is a submaximal bike test. So, we want you to, we don't want you to exude a maximal effort. After this test, you should be able to go about your daily activities um, without any unusual fatigue. If you want to exercise later this day, that's fine as well. We're also going to stop you at a certain point to maintain that submaximal effort. So we have a couple of endpoints that we're going to use, mainly your heart rate. Okay, throughout the test, we're also going to be taking several measurements and asking you some questions. So we'll be taking your heart rate and blood pressure, as well as asking how you feel throughout the test. <clears throat> the way we do that is through a rating of perceived exertion test. So on the bike, you can see the rating of perceived exertion scale. It's on a scale of 6 to 20. So six being very, very easy, you just got out of the bed. 20 being very, very hard, so the maximal effort that you can go. So throughout the test, I'll be asking you how you feel, and you wanna make sure that you keep in mind that this is an overall feeling, so not just leg fatigue and not just breathing, but overall how hard you feel like you're working. So I'll be asking you that on a scale of six to 20, okay? Do you have any questions? Okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started before we're going to do a three to five minute warm up at zero resistance. Throughout the test, I want you to make sure that you maintain 50 revolutions per minute. And so we have the metronome here to make sure that you can maintain that cadence. Okay? So go ahead and start pedaling. We have zero resistance on the bike and try to maintain that 50 RPMs. Slow it down a little bit. It is. Not listening to this. I was listening to it. That's 
that's what I was listening to, and I was like, I don't hear it. Okay. So with the YMCA bike test, everyone starts out at the same workload on the first stage, which is 150 kpms per minute, or 0.5 kps. And we have the pendulum bike here, so we're just going to adjust the resistance by turning the knob to the right slightly. And we can see the KPs up here on the bike as well as on the side. Okay. Okay, so once you're ready, when we start the test, I'm going to move the resistance to 0.5 KPs, and you're going to stay there for three minutes. After the first stage, based on your heart rate, is how we're going to change the resistance from that point on. So if your heart rate is a little higher, we would put less resistance on. If your heart rate is lower, we would put more resistance on. Okay, and then we're going to follow that pattern throughout the test. Okay. Okay. All right, so we've done a three to five minute warm up at zero resistance. And now that she's ready, we're going to go ahead and start the test. Okay, so I'm going to put 0.5 kps on the bike. Okay, so every minute I'm going to take the heart rate. At the end of each stage or at the end of three minutes, I'm going to take blood pressure and ask her RPE. heart rate 75 126 over 82. Okay, on a scale of 6 to 20, what's your RP? 9. 9. And heart rate is 85 beats per minute. So minute 2 and minute 3 heart rates were 75 and 85. So she has not reached steady state yet, so we're going to go another minute on this stage. Every stage your client has to reach steady state heart rate, which is two consecutive heart rates within five beats per minute.
78. Alright, so we're going to go one more minute. So minute five heart rate is 81. So now we have reached steady state heart rate, so we can go on to stage two. Since her heart rate is between 80 and 89, we're gonna go up to two KPs for the second stage. From this point on, each stage now, we will just add a half a kp until she is finished with the test. One oh four. One thirty two over eighty four. What's your RP now? Um, twelve. Twelve RP. Heart rate's one thirteen. So she's reached steady state at this stage now, so we can go on to the next stage. We're going to add a half a kp. Doing great. Twenty-two.
stages with heart rates between 110 and 150. So we're going to go ahead and stop the test. So we're going to take all the resistance off. Her heart rate was 134 immediate post exercise. And go ahead and pedal at zero resistance. We're going to get another blood pressure. down to the pre-exercise or baseline values or heart rate less than 100. So the reason we stopped this test was one of the criteria for YMCA bike test is you must reach two consecutive stages of heart rates within 110 and 150 beats per minute. The reason we keep that within that stage is because between those beats is when it, where a linear relationship between heart rate and work rate exists. Once we get up to those high heart rates, heart rate will increase exponentially. That's also about where we reach 85% age predicted max heart rate. So we want to stop her before she reaches 85% max heart rate, as well as we want those two consecutive stages of heart rates within 110 and 150. Ninety six heart rate, minute one for recovery. Twenty eight over ninety. And three heart rate eighty seven. All right, you can go ahead and stop. I'm going to take you over to the chair and monitor your resting values for up to thirty minutes. Okay. 